Okay. See, first of all, uh, you are preparing and uh, for generally what kind of questions will come for two to three years of experience. Okay. And uh, what syllabus two to three years experience uh, things. Okay. And um, what are the knowledge you need it? Okay. Those things, if you can consider. The first of all, uh, the syllabus wise. Okay. So syllabus wise, uh, you know about organization structure, okay, master data, purchasing, if you see our course wise also, then automatic account determination, Automatic account determination and inventory management, the logistics invoice verification. Okay, then, then special special procurement. I'm telling the folders based on our content. Later we have uh, this miscellaneous. I have provided a uh, few of the things like um, batch management or sending emails, some different difference are there. So here, these six you must learn. Okay. These six you have to learn without missing. These six areas. You must learn special procurement, next level, uh, which you need to focus. And miscellaneous, you can take slowly. Okay. Once you get some command, maybe you can check it. And we have a real time content, right? Yeah. A real time content that is always helpful for you. Just watch it because you are not going to learn something and all. Understand about projects. Okay. And mainly understand about uh, the support project because currently are working on that area. So mm -hmm. support project roles, SLA, priority order, okay, SLA and sample support tickets. These things you focus more because that will be helpful for you to handle your regular job. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now you, in front of you, you have a content, what to prepare. Okay. Mm -hmm. So organized structure will tell you that what is planned, what is company code and what is purchasing organization, where to assign, what is use of each organization element. In master data, you will learn what is material, what is vendor, what is purchase info record, what is the benefit of info record. If you create, what will happen? If you don't create, what will happen? So purchasing will tell you that what is requisition, order, contract if i do without contract if i create purchase order what will happen the automatic account determination will give you the link is how the gls uh, link with finance and all okay so inventory management will tell you once we buy the goods i receive it but uh, okay so automatic account determination everything um inventory management uh, it will give you like goods receive goods issue all those stuff how you have to prepare it okay so that like that you need to plan and uh, invoice verification the finally you can focus a little bit understanding i think invoice verification i can give you uh, because it, it link off for finance and this one so you need to have it hmm? mm -hmm. So overall, you will understand what is purchasing thing happen. What are the activities you need to prepare? Actually, if you really focus on this one to understand, uh, you can complete in two weeks itself. But to practice and all, it, you need some three or four more or five more weeks. Okay. So now about uh, real time, you will understand the project roles and responsibilities. At least what are the activities you need to do daily? Okay, regularly what activities you need to do and uh, those stuff you, you will definitely learn in these things. So content wise, uh, you have uh, two things. One is uh, course content. 
another one is real time content okay you, you have two things to learn one is course content another one is real time content okay these are the two things you need to learn and uh, how to learn all those stuff uh, i explained you so how do you focus on content and uh, what are the activities you need to do those things definitely it will give you a good idea and uh, knowledge for you okay. okay so understanding about the regular process uh, project roles and responsibilities sample tickets these are all as a mm consultant when you are working for 2 3 years of experience you need to focus on these areas hmm. when it comes to other things like uh, email writing uh, talking in english confidently understanding listening skills when the person is asking you the question listen carefully then answer it understand the concept and then answer it okay these areas always essential and you need to focus on that in special procurement maybe you can more focus on uh, sto and subcontracting these two are mostly will be asked in the interviews okay in inventory management you need to see that goods issue and received and transfer posting uh, maybe one or two processes you can check it okay invoice verification at least if you understand what is invoice where we received one is, what is credit memo what is subsequent debit what is subsequent credit that level of knowledge you need to build so automatic account determination that each the chapter what is the benefit what we are going to learn those things if you can focus i'm sure you will understand it and regularly or uh, talking in english or uh, reading something in english or if you are typing with any friends or anyone uh, try to type in english okay and if you are not confident there is a one uh, app also in in whatsapp also when you are typing in hindi it will convert to english okay that i will check it and provide that also will be helpful for you how the data is getting converted hmm? i will send you that one that is better i think in your whatsapp itself you can have it when you chat someone that also it can be converted and you will learn and when you are talking anyway you need to practice 